Okay, well, we're back up making a face frame. Our other one up there turned out real nice. But the stove we ordered was 22 inches. And we're just going to get a 36 inch sink. Uh, even though they're on the internet, they don't make the 22 inch stove anymore. So it's a 20 inch stove. And then we ended up with a 32 inch sink maybe instead of a 36. So that threw everything off. So we're me remaking the face frame to fit what we got. And sometimes that might be better if you made everything and, and then made your face frame because scooting the sink over we gained an extra six inches underneath so we're going to put an extra uh, door in there for like cookie sheets and stuff like that since we're having an oven we'll be baking cookies and biscuits so this is like a, a piece of oak here so there it's like ten and a half feet long and so it's it's straight on three sides so you cut it and this is the stuff so so I go through and make kind of a temporary cut sheet this one's pretty wild but it tells me that I need two 80 inch ones inch and a half and then uh, three and three quarters inch and a quarter two inch and a half inch and a half inch and a half and two and they're 34 inches long so that's what this stuff is over here it's off my cut sheet but see when you run it through you get these saw cuts like right here like a burn so you like on my my two inch one I've got this set for two and three sixteenths because this machine over here is a plane so what this does once it's done this runs through here and it's got blades and it actually smooth it all up and cut off your, your burn marks and stuff like that. If you didn't have a plane uh, before I had that, I used to take a, uh, a sander and, and go back and forth over it. But, so that's why I cut them a little bit big and then I'll take that and take them down to size. And then I cut them to size because sometimes this would give you a little, on the edge where you flip it into the blades, it, it'll do a little dip. Just like that real quick so if, if you cut these exact size then you're in trouble so they're about six inches long so that way I'll whack it here then measure it and it don't always do that but a lot of times it does and then we'll use our Craig jig pocket screws put it all together and I'll show you about that and and I'm gonna show you cutting this one so I've got one more two inch thing to cut and so I'll go through it and show you like I say, if you look at these, this edge right here is real, real rough, real nasty. So they call this three-sided. And see, so you got one true side. So this is real clean here. So that's the one that goes up against your fence, and then you're cutting another clean one here. So it might be a little noisy, but I'll show you how I do it. That's pretty much how you make your smaller boards and you put a roller out front because this is way too heavy and don't want it to tip down out front. So the roller right there catches everything as it rolls out. And see, this is what I need. So this is my two inch piece. So I'll cut them down to the 36 and then I'll run, pull out my planer and run everything through the planer.
So we're working on the face frame. I had everything cut and did all the pocket jig just like the last one. So you can see how these are done. And like I say, you pick your, your ugliest side of your board. And what I do is put X's on it. And that's my back that I do the pocket jigs in. And then I come down on the back and mark exactly each, where each one of these boards go. There's a line and then there's an X. And that tells me on which side the board goes, especially down here. Uh, and then it's all just glued and screwed together. And like I say, the back don't really matter. And then the front, we try to round everything off and I'll, I'll show you that. Because what you have is, if you look here, this one's rounded here. You can see the rounded, and, th and this is just a sharp, say, straight edge. And so that's this router right here, it's called a half round, and that's what does this right here. Okay, on your, your routers, something that you always need to check prior to using it. See, like this is a nice round, and, and like there's an adjustment here and you loosen this and adjust it accordingly. Uh, so you just push it up or down and then you tighten it up. But if you look, I'll try to hold it so we can see this right here was just a little too far down and see this lip right here. So if I wouldn't have adjusted it before I went, because each wood's a different thickness, uh, it, it would have left that big line down there and I'd have had to sand it off. And, and that's not what you want to do. Uh, so like I say, you, you kind of put it where you want. And you always just take a piece of scrap and try it out. See now, now, so I went to the nice round again. And I don't have that ugly lip there. And so when, you, when you're doing this, you just you just start and you go around. I've already did it here. how you get the nice rounded edge on it and then next and like I say this is just a laminate router they call it just a mini thing and you can get straight bits different code bits to go in here so you don't have to do a half round they call it you can do some other kind and this is just a palm sander so I put I start with 60 grit and then the same thing <laughs> A lot of times when you go around corners and stuff, you'll get a little black burnout. And then like right here is a little bit of glue and you can just barely see that this board is just a, because my catcher with my fingernail. So you just take your sander. <laughs> You just sand them all out and see now this is pretty smooth and so I'll go over the whole thing sanding it and they will put it on tonight because tomorrow we're gonna go have the granite put on running a little bit behind this morning we're supposed to be over at the countertop place getting the granite put on haven't made it yet finally got the face on uh, the biggest problem was all these doors getting these doors lined up to where they all functioned and worked and fit in between the spaces each one I probably pulled out 20 times but they're both good now I got a 
do a little trimming on the sink so the sink sets actually down in cut the two slots out for the stove and then it'll pretty much be ready well I gotta clean up a little bit I guess and then get it off the jacks and we'll take it over and get some countertop put on it so time's getting short got a lot of work to do we'll see you later and catch you on the next one